Yo, welcome back, KT Squad. It's your boy, KT. Well, today we're gonna check out this video. It's called the 10 dark web videos you should probably never watch. They say you can find anything on the dark web. Though why you would want to find any of the things mentioned on this list is beyond me. Number 10. This 11 minute video has been making rounds on the dark web for a while and has only recently come to the surface. In it, something human shaped wrapped in garbage bags is taped up and kept in various strange poses in a chair, at the bottom of steps, and so on. Every so often, a man with a bag over his head comes in and fusses with the strange object. At one point, he even tries to give it food in the bathtub, despite what? there being no mouth hole. Towards the end of the video, he puts the object onto the kitchen counter and begins to carve into it. This video was filmed in black and white and has many different artistic camera angles. The dark web is full of many videos like this, but I guess every once in a while you could be looking at someone who is really acting out their twisted fantasies on a real person. Yo, For all we know, this I don't could know, be man. My mama told me never to judge people. The aftermath of a red room video. Number nine, a YouTuber named Surviving Life finds a dark web sub forum dedicated to the most disturbing content imaginable. What's in them? But I'll put it like this, the people here are looking for stuff that would easily get your door kicked in. I wanna in. buy a human infant, we'll pay any price. And by the cops, after going through a few pages, surviving life comes across one thread in particular that easily tops them all. I want to buy a human infant. Yo, we just gonna act like we didn't see that. I don't know exactly how this person expects to buy an infant, or how much a reasonable price is. Thankfully, Surviving Life does not click on the link to find out. I did notice it seems to have 14 replies though, which leaves me with a terrible sinking does feeling inside. All of these requests are fake, but apparently Surviving Life has seen versions of this website before. Okay, and the name of this site is so infamous, and the people on it this isn't the first time they put a site together like this. This is this is a system where these sites go up, they go down, the contents move. They must. And provides us with some more insight about its long history. He soon grows too disgusted with all of humanity and logs off for the day. I think that the website is probably 100% real, but I would like to get your opinion based on this video evidence shown here. Number 8. This grainy black and white video was supposedly taken back in 1999 when the internet was still in its early stages of development. A woman has apparently been chosen against their will for a red room show, which is where people make suggestions as to what should happen to her next. Number 7. Another supposed red room video shows a person wearing a large hood over their face looking down at the floor. I think the room is in pitch black and this was taken with night vision. After more than four minutes of uncomfortable silence, a man dressed in all black with gloves on wakes the person up and begins talking. Try to translate what is being said here if possible, so that we can better tell what is really going on. <laughs> Nope, nope. What you gonna do? I don't know, I just go ahead. Whatever is said appears to send the hooded man into a great amount of distress. I notice that a voice changer is used, which makes me think this video could be real. After all, whoever is involved would want to go to great lengths to keep their identity concealed. I'm not sure what happened next, but based on the overall tone of this video, I doubt this person made it out of the room in oh, one piece. Oh man, it got me in my seat like, is that a hammer? YouTuber named Amir returns to the dark web after getting many requests from his followers to do so. The first thing he finds is a strange collection of texts promoting superhuman abilities through special muscle exercises. Overall, the detailed instructions what? sound really complicated, futuristic, and weird. Then at the bottom, Amir comes across a strange date of publication that leaves him scratching his head in puzzlement. Based off of. I want to try this. The first one was okay. Okay, consists of continuously contracting very hard. It is a technique that consists of voluntary contracting, flexing muscles around specific singularities in the body. Induce, control, maintain, and enhance emotional, mental, instinct state. Oh. 
He grows tired of reading the mountain of text and comes across this creepy dark website next. It's nothing more than a still photo of a man with huge black bags under his eyes, staring you down with a knowing grin. I don't recognize the photograph from any place, but I would like to know if you have. I am not making this up. <laughs> you know why I'm laughing? Because I thought that was him, but apparently it's not. This is literally the page. There is apparently a secret place on the page you can click to proceed, but Amir can't find it and moves on to the strangest dark web discovery yeah, yet. On. Kidney for sale. Choose price negotiable. Buyer pays for all travel, accommodation, and surgery costs. There are pages upon pages of organ donors. Wait, 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 wait. Kidney say blood group O positive. Healthy donor. No previous kidney issues. Price negotiable. Buyers pay for all travels accommodate. Dang, he selling his kidney? No, thank Looking you. to sell their guts for some quick cash. How is this still legal? I mean, you know, how does Craigslist get messed with, but the dark web doesn't get messed with? Am I right? Demand for organ donors what? in the long waiting list to get one. I have little like, doubt that this message board is real. The listings are quick, to the point, and highly detailed. Number five, a YouTuber named IT Guru360 is making a tutorial about how to access the dark web when he comes across a cryptic video that he has never seen before. Long strings of binary code fly under the watchful gaze of a floating skull face. Some people say the skull somehow feels mesmerizing, and that it was created to lull you into an altered state of mind, perhaps even insanity. If anyone can translate this programming language into English, then please let me know. Shifting strange face that's in the same video. I'm not even sure that I want to know. <laughs> Somehow oh, I doubt no. its backstory is anything good. Number 4. Gabe Helmy and Darcy Young decide to push their luck on the dark web and see what they can uncover. It isn't long before they discover a secret website meant for selling everything, including some really creepy items too. Soon afterwards, they find a website that is supposedly made by Russian hackers who can get into just about anything. It looks like their service costs around $2,000 on average based on current Bitcoin prices. You can even bring down a website for 24 hours for $12,000, but that hardly seems worthwhile. Something about this website design looks very amateurish, so I'm not sure it is real. Number 3. Chloe Alliang is a British supermodel who claims to have been taken and put up for auction on the deep web. She arrives at a sketchy studio in Italy only to be jumped from behind. And a hand comes from behind onto my neck. Eventually they tackle me to the floor and the syringe goes in and that's when it all goes black. All I heard was a syringe went in. She wakes up in the trunk of a car zipped inside of a black bag, take her to a secluded room and finally reveal her fate. He says, you've already been put up for sale. They put you up for sale? Yeah. Where? Uh, on the dark web. This is where the story gets kind of weird. She says that after six days, her captives did not want any money and felt bad, so they let her go. What? I guess this is possible, but when <laughs> one of the men was eventually caught, he said that she told him to do it as a way for her to get famous. Some people also say yeah, she did, you know, dang well. does not look sincere in her press statement. I think she is probably telling the truth, but I'm not really sure what to think yeah, of this like point. how thing is, how's she gonna fit in a suitcase? A YouTuber named Zer John pokes around on the dark web. Soon he finds himself reading some extremely bizarre tutorials that leave him stunned. He's like tutorials on how to like eat people. Eat people. Eat people. Oh them. man, okay, I have exactly the same manner. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real what? life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow All button right. to find out. I recently released the music video for my 
circle icon in the top right corner. Then tap my music video and let me know what you think it is. Yep, yep. It's a I got you. fact that generosity makes you a happier person. See? So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. I got you. This way you'll be notified you. of the new videos I upload every Thursday and Saturday. Let's do this. One. Kenneth Freeman began filming himself doing horrible things with his daughter Vicky sometime during the 90s. These terrible videos grew worse and worse for well over a year. Daughter. As he became more elaborate and sadistic, he was sharing them online the entire time for many years. Vicky did not feel safe enough to report what was done to her for four years at the age 14. Her father fled all the way to China, but he was discovered and taken to trial one year later. He was sentenced to 50 years behind bars. Sadly, the Vicky series continues to be traded online to this day. This has dude went to China and got found. Like, that's a lot of people to find. That's like a needle in a haystack, man. Become infamous among dark web sickos everywhere. It's disgusting to think how people are still finding pleasure in her grief all these decades later. <laughs> but as long as the dark web continues to exist, there is little that can be done. Right? Most people go their entire lives without needing to call 911. But the next time something bad happens, hey, don't be surprised cool. when those three numbers are being dialed for you. Oh, I'm cool. For somebody who's never been on any of these sites before, nor have I had the curiosity to ever think about it like, oh, I'm just gonna go on the dark web today. I wonder what's on there. It just never came to mind. I don't know, call me weird. I'm just a realist. When you think about it, man, I don't have any use for anybody limbs. Man, these videos is funny, man. Send me some more of these try not to get scared videos. I'm loving this. We got to turn off the light and we got to make it like a make it like a challenge. Matter of fact, let this video get to 200 likes and I want you to send me a prank idea and I'll pick my favorite one. All right. So that's what I would do to my favorite prank idea. And we're going to start doing that. Bring back the prank, bring back the challenges, you know what I'm saying? So make sure, for anybody that's new to the channel, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment, send me a send me a message just saying what's up, y'all, because I appreciate y'all watching the video and y'all being here. I don't know too much about the dark web, so if y'all know about it, like, I'll appreciate a DM, like, anything, yo. I'm about to get up out of here.